Hi, Gretchen Claude here, and we're going to be talking a little bit about the mechanics of breathing before we get down onto the mat to practice it a bit. When you think about it, we breathe about 20,000 times a day, so it's really important for us to optimize this function. Today we're going to talk about the rib cage, the abdomen, and then the pelvic diaphragm, also known as the pelvic floor, and how we should breathe in each one of those areas. This is a pretty important piece of our daily lives and also, also for athletic function. When I talk about the pelvic diaphragm or the pelvic floor, we're referring to these muscles that sit on the inside of the basin of our pelvis. So when you're trying to contract those muscles, there's a lot of different ways to do this. And um, if you're in an area that has a pelvic floor physical therapist, I really advise that you go see uh, her or him and they can help to confirm that you're doing this correctly. Also, if you're having any pain or discomfort, make sure that you're consulting with a medical provider or see a pelvic physical therapist if you're having problems with your pelvic floor. When we're doing the exercise on the floor, when I ask you to contract through the pelvic diaphragm or the pelvic floor, I want you to envision that you're pulling something up and in towards your body. When you do this motion, there should be relatively no motion otherwise in your legs and your pelvis. So try to avoid squeezing the big glutes that surround here or the big thigh muscles that pull the legs in together. This should be a pretty gentle lift. So visualizing a lift or pull inwards towards the body will be helpful. As we go and talk about the abdominal wall, when we go to exhale, it should be a gentle compression of the abdominal wall. Again, what we want to avoid here is crunching the body in and crushing the organs that way. It should be a gentle fall of the belly using some very gentle muscles like a corset around the body. In terms of the rib cage, as we breathe, we wanna make sure that we're breathing on all aspects of our rib cage, 360. So on the inhale, we wanna inhale big, all aspects, and when we exhale, a gentle fall of the rib cage, like we're trying to knit the ribs together. We're gonna to practice today laying on our back, but then you'll see soon we're going to progress to some other postures and other positions. Enjoy. Begin laying on your back, comfortable position with knees bent, as an alternative, if you'd like, you can certainly grab a block, a bolster, or a foam roll, putting it underneath the knees for a bit more comfort. Regardless of the position you choose, just make sure you're a bit comfortable. If you're able, close down through your eyes. Sometimes it's helpful to put the hands right on the rib cage, just for a little bit of feedback from the ribs. As you inhale, feel the ribs expand, belly expand, pelvic diaphragm relax and as you go to exhale rib cage comes down and in gently pulling the abdomen towards the spine and a lift of the pelvic floor or pelvic diaphragm again on the inhaling breath fill through the ribs envision that umbrella inflating on all aspects of the ribs belly expands pelvic floor releases and then as you exhale, ribs coming down and in, belly towards the spine, gentle pelvic floor contraction. It also may be useful to put the hands on the abdomen just to make sure on the inhale you're feeling a rise of the belly and then a gentle fall of it as you go to exhale. When you're practicing this breathing, try to breathe in through the nose and either out through the nose or out through the mouth, your choice. Just feeling the rise and fall of the belly and the ribs and connecting the pelvic diaphragm with the breathing. Again on the inhale, the pelvic floor releases and on the exhale, the gentle contraction or lift. Putting the hands on both the ribs and the abdomen may also help to give some feedback in terms of breathing, feeling both rise and fall nearly at the same time. Trying to relax through the jaw and through the brow as you do this. Or perhaps just focusing on different areas of those three areas that we discussed. Ribs, abdomen, or pelvic floor. Just finding a comfortable position and a comfortable rhythm with the breath. And practicing this exercise for one to two minutes most days of the week can help to re-coordinate those core muscles as well as to help optimize your breathing with both daily function as well as athletics. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day.